the overarching research of my lab is mechanical properties of organic semiconductors. And that sounds really niche, like maybe one person in the world would care about it, but there are a lot of really cool applications, at least I think they're cool. The first application is in organic and thin film solar cells. So these are materials that can be processed into large area tarp-like solar cells that can be printed are really mechanically robust. So that means they stand wind and rain and stretching and they're cheap and they're lightweight. So that has all kinds of applications in disaster relief and developing world applications, off-grid applications, space applications. So my work has been funded by the Air Force for the last uh, 12 plus years, knock on wood. That's one application area. Another is in biosensors. So the skin is soft, the internal organs are even softer. So if you're going to interface with those structures, you need to have materials that have deformability that is commensurate or similar to that of the skin. We've done a number of implantable and wearable sensors. And the third area is in haptics and neuroscience. So haptics is the science of touch and not just touch, but also kinesthesia. So the sense of motion and force, but also the sense of proprioception, which is the sense of where your limbs are in three-dimensional space <laughs> without using your eyes, without looking at my hand. Oh, my hand is over here. Oh, sure enough, it's over there. But I knew that without looking, right? That's proprioception. And then the final area that haptics refers to is interoception. So internal sensations of pressure, of pain, of knowing you have to go to the bathroom. So we build materials and devices that can measure and manipulate those senses. So it's the, the combination of organic electronic materials, mechanical forces, and by applications in biology and energy.